Hey lovely, I'm Lisa and welcome to my channel, Lovely Channel. Today I'm sharing with you some fall activities for toddlers. These are 12 ideas on things you can do with your busy little ones uh, to celebrate fall, but also help them learn and just keep them entertained. So let's go ahead and get into it. The very first thing I want to share with you is a fall findings walk. So we will take a little basket. You could also just use a grocery bag. We'll go for a walk around our neighborhood. You could also go to a local park or just anywhere outside where you can find some fall leaves or pine cones, twigs, whatever it is. Maybe you have acorns where you live. Um, just help your little one find some fall treasures, let them explore and um, take a little basket or bag full home of their treasures. River loves doing this. And we're actually gonna be using these pine cones we found. Again, you can use acorns, rocks, twigs, whatever you find on your walk. But we're gonna be working on River's numbers. He's actually been super into numbers lately, so I wanna start teaching him. Um, so I have these flashcards that I got at the Dollar Tree. You don't even need to use flashcards. You could just like do it talking or you could make your own flashcards with pieces of paper and write the numbers out. Um, but we were using the pine cones to match the number of pine cones to whatever number the card was. We were just working on one, two, three, and four. So um, River's just been really into numbers again. So this was really fun and a great learning activity. Hopefully you're enjoying this video so far. If you are, please give it a thumbs up and also consider sharing it with some of your friends and family members with the share button below. Thank you. The next activity is something I found on Pinterest and it's an apple poke. So what you do is you take an apple and you take a bunch of toothpicks and I showed River how to do this. You just stick the toothpicks into the apple. This is just kind of one of those um, sensory like motor skills type activities um, and River had a lot of fun with this. As soon as I showed him that one he got the hang of it and just kept going and putting all these toothpicks into the apple. And then of course you can eat the apple as a snack afterwards too that way it doesn't go to waste. So if you are new here hi my name is Lisa and this is my channel Lovely Channel. My heart for this channel is to encourage you through practical and faithful content ranging from doing dirty dishes to discipling. So if that is something you are interested in, please consider hitting that subscribe button below. That way you'll be updated whenever I post a new video. The next thing is this little coloring kit that I got from the Dollar Tree. Um, it's just this little wooden scarecrow and it comes with these markers that you can color it in. I just thought this would be something super inexpensive and fun. They had a bunch of different designs, but Dollar Tree always has these little seasonal kits, these little arts and crafts kits. So I thought this one was really easy for toddlers since it's just markers and they can make a little craft this way. This next idea, all you're gonna need are some of these faux leaves and I got this pack from the Dollar Tree and you're either gonna need a rake or some sort of broom. We are first doing it on the carpet. I wanted to show you how to do this, but it's kind of just a leaf raking activity, something fun. You can put a bucket out or you can just have um, them rake the leaves into a pile. River was having a little bit of a harder time with the raking, so I wanted to try it on a smooth surface. So I brought the leaves out to our kitchen tile and then I tried a broom instead and he liked this a lot better. He got the hang of it more. So at first I had this um, kid size broom that we were using. But I have this little tiny broom that I got at the Dollar Tree with this dustpan. Um, and this is what he enjoyed the most. He enjoyed scooping them into his little dustpan and then putting the leaves into the bucket. And he had a lot of fun with this activity. Our next activity, we're gonna be working on some colors and learning colors. River actually knows his colors really well, so this is really easy, but if you haven't really worked on colors with your toddler or they're just starting to learn, this would be a great activity. So I just have different colored construction paper that I got at the Dollar Tree and leaves to match the different colors. So we have red, yellow, green, and orange. So you just have your little one match the leaves to the right color and he got this right away again. He's really good with his colors already, but he still had fun with that. So our next idea is taking some contact paper. I got this roll at the Dollar Tree and you're just gonna cut out a square and then you're gonna tape that square. You can tape it onto your sliding glass door, which I did here, or you can just tape it onto the wall and then you're gonna peel off that backing so that the sticky side of the contact paper is facing towards you. And then you can take your leaves and you can stick them to the paper. 
I did draw an outline of a leaf. You can't really see it here because I did it with pen. I would recommend drawing it on the back side with a Sharpie where you could see it a lot more, but you can just have your little one stick the leaves to the tree. Um, and River didn't really like this at first, but I ended up moving it to our wall and the next day he went over on his own and was sticking all the leaves to it. So he did end up having a lot of fun with this. So this next idea is probably one of my son's favorites and that is a pumpkin bath. So you can get little mini pumpkins or you can even do squashes and gourds, whatever you can find. I had a butternut squash, an acorn squash, a little pumpkin um, and I just filled up our sink with some soapy warm water, brought up a stool and let him wash the pumpkins in the soap and water, gave him a little scrubby brush and he had so much fun doing this. He loves playing at our sink. You could also do this with a container filled with soapy water on the ground if you'd prefer it that way and just put a towel underneath your toddler. So that's another way you can do this, but this was a lot of fun. So this next idea is hammering little nails into a pumpkin. This is another sensory type, um, motor skills developing type activity. So I took golf balls and then I took a little hammer and I put this tennis ball on the back of it so that it wouldn't poke River in the eyes or anything. However, Amazon has this really cute wooden hammer and it comes with little wooden nails and I do recommend that. So I'm gonna have that linked below because um, that would be something great. I saw this idea on Pinterest and I kind of just went with it after I saw the picture. And it's actually really hard to for your toddler to get the nails in the pumpkin on its own. So what I recommend doing is you hammer them in and then something they can do is pull the nails out. And after they pull them out, they can poke the nails back in or hammer them back in the holes that you've already made. I think that's the best way this works, but River had a lot of fun pulling out all of these nails and then just poking them back into the holes. So if you have any fall activity ideas, please leave your ideas in the comments below. That way we can give each other more ideas. So the next thing you can do is take your pumpkin that you already did your hammering with and actually cut it open like you're gonna carve it and you can just ha let your little one have fun with the little pumpkin guts and pulp and stuff and you can pull out all the seeds. River didn't really wanna get messy with this one but he did have fun pulling out the seeds with me and we ended up toasting those seeds. And that leads us into our next idea, which is doing a little fall snack sampler. So we have a couple different kinds of apples. We have some figs, some pecans. We have our toasted pumpkin nut seeds that we made. And then we have some pumpkin bread. Um, and this is just something fun that you can do with your toddler. Toddlers love snacks. So you can let them try a bunch of fall foods, make it a little tea party if you want to. Um, and then onto our last idea, I talked about pumpkin bread that we sampled. My last idea is to bake with your toddler. River loves helping me bake. So you can bake any sort of fall tree. You can make cookies. Like we, I said, we made pumpkin bread. Um, but just go on Pinterest, find a fun recipe, or maybe you have a family recipe that you love and help your little one, you know, measure out and pour the stuff into the bowl. And he just has a lot of fun with this. I'm sure your little ones will have fun helping you bake in the kitchen as well. It's okay if it gets a little messy, just make that part of the experience and have fun together. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I really think you would also enjoy my day in the life of a stay at home mom. So I'll have that linked below. But I will see you guys in my next video. I love you. Remember to do everything in love. Bye.